I smile every day like I'm Roy Lee. Yeah. And fuck what a hater gotta say to me. What? I don't talk about it cause they know I'm with it. Real talk. Think before your thug, better mind your business. Say from the block, I ain't never seen them. Hey. Your smile time, boy, you just a misdemeanor. Cash up. Took them on my home, gave her back shot. Real talk. Real ones on skill, and we on Millie Rock. Hey. What's up, everybody? It's DJ Boosie F, baby, and we back another week. Can I vent? Can I vent? Can I vent? Long, hot week. Long, hot week. <laughs> full, of, full of booked and busy for Can I Vent. Nah, for also, sure. Also, busy. All just week. by the way, shout out to Mama Scott Fast Bash. For sure. 24. For sure. How you doing, Dub? I'm good. I'm good. You know, just cooling. I'm cooling. Now I'm sitting still. I can relax a little bit. So I'm yeah. good. I'm good. You was outside today? Yeah, help getting all this stuff set up. Oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. But nah, yeah. I'm good, though. I'm good. That's what's up. So, it looks a little different today. Just a little bit. Filling in for our good sis, Bior, this week is the prince of the city, the Hello. one and only Trey G. Hey, say our, that. Our cousin man. here. Our cousin. <laughs> our cousin. Our cousin. Yeah. Big cousin. No, he said I can't be his cousin because I'm a Saints fan. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Nah, yeah. yeah we don't support right that. We don't rock with that at all. My man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't rock with that at all. My cousin. <laughs> it's good to be here, though, with right. y'all family. Though. It's good to be here with y'all family. I appreciate, appreciate y'all having you, man. Appreciate well, appreciate you. you for coming through. And today we have a very special guest today, a young lady from Dallas, Oak Cliff, to be exact, Yo. who has her own line called BC Apparel. She started boxing in 2018 and is a three-time Three. That's three. Mm, three one. time Two, but three. national. <laughs> hold on. Three time national champ with the team USA. And currently undefeated as a pro with one knockout. That knockout with mm. two. Carrera. <laughs> that knockout was nice. Whoa. 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 Welcome Whoa. in. Yeah, welcome. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Welcome to Can I Vent. Got anything uh -uh. to get off your chest? No, nah, I'm good right now. Shit. Uh -uh. <laughs> good. Hey, good. I'm good. She acting humble. I seen her Instagram. Yeah, she good. punched something down. Yeah. You hear me? I'm talking about punching something down. That's why she said, I'm going like, to just keep cool. Yeah, I'm going to keep cool. I was like, oh, she got some hands. We don't want no problems. I'll pull her drink for her. Right, you hear me? Right. I don't want no Do you need anything, Ms. Brill? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. That's what's up. So before we get into in it, everything, we kind of do like a little quick vent session, see how everybody week kind of went. Mm -hmm. on dub, you want to go first? You want to try it? start with the guests. Start with how the we going to start with the guests? So <laughs> you was on the radio really, this morning anyway. You're not really a guest. You family. <laughs> so you going to move me on the spot. You was on the radio It don't be any, yeah. you know, any time of vent you got. That's true. Fam, oh, that's true. Family, friends, um, Anything I can vent about. Uh, okay, how about this? Uh, okay, two things. Hurricane Burl. Down mm -hmm. at H Town, yeah. uh, I love the event about that just because it's a lot going on with it. It's hot as hell in Texas right now, Dub. You said it earlier, uh -huh. and them folks down there right. with no power, yeah. no AC, no food, water. I seen the line for Water Burger that them folks had to uh, go to because it had to, it was like the only Water Burger around the city with yeah. power, power, and it's wrapped around the city. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But shout out to yeah. Trey, he out there doing Trey his missionary work. Oh yeah, he yeah. Got his truck, he yeah. going to get yeah. Shout out working. to them boys, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Um, that's one thing. And then another thing, uh, so I'm a big basketball fan, right? Same. And I just heard Kawhi Leonard not going to be playing for Team USA. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He need to go. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like Kawhi? Just, <laughs> as injury prone as he is, he need all the rest he can get. Golly. So playing that extra in the summer for him is going to be bad when the season come up. I get it. Because he always end up getting hurt at the I wrong get it. time. Nah, I get it. I get so it. I get it. It's just like I'm glad like Luka not playing in it. For sure. Because he need all nah, of his Nah, he is. He playing for uh, Slovenia. I think they didn't make it. Did they make it? I, oh, I, they they didn't. I don't think they made it. Uh, I think okay, they okay, okay. Out. I could be wrong, but I don't think they made it, which Man, so, I'm kind of happy about because he need all the rest of he need the re <laughs> Nah, need, Luca so, need all the workout. He can get little, th little thick ass. He need to work out. <laughs> he need to slim down. Little, but yeah. but them, them the two things I'm feeling about, man. That's it. That's but all. at least D-Rose retired. Damn, no, that, that's not a good thing, no, though, I hate to see that one. He was never in the game anyway. I guess so, but D Rose was so electrifying when he got out there. Boy, yeah. like I'm talking about. He's but you got to watch him. He'll get shaky at the scurvy. ankles on our ass. Scurvy. He could have had, he yeah. had my knees and ankles if he wanted them. <laughs> 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 he was, when he was at his peak, though, yeah. He, square business. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, square business. Got anything? No. You no, said you good. I've been on vacation. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's okay. why you been on vacation. Living life. Yeah. As soon as that fight, I was done with that fight, I took two weeks off. Baby, I ain't seeing me nowhere. Oh, I've been. Wait, did you go out of town or did you yeah, just lay low? Yeah, I was in Austin with my family, okay. out in the ranch and stuff like that. Okay. I recharged. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did your body need it, though? Like, after the fight? Did you... Bro, I be sore, bro. My neck oh, hurt. So my ribs mean. hurt. My shoulders hurt. Yeah. 
everything hurt, bro. Yeah, <laughs> wow. yeah, sure. You just got in a fight. That weight cut, bro. Real fight. Yeah. Like, that wake up film? Oh, no, nah, bro. Hey, y'all done catch that light flicks, though. She said we was at, at the ranch, though. <laughs> <laughs> we was at the ranch. On bro. the land. On the land. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Dub? How you? Oh, nah, I ain't really. Nothing I can think of. Work ain't got on your nerves. Work get on my nerves every time. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, you did. I'm trying to figure out the next move to get out of corporate. Mm -hmm. The corporate world be is vicious sometimes. And the worst thing about it is, you can go there and bust your ass for them, yep. and they can fire you tomorrow and mm -hmm. want me to So Yo, they I'm already like, working on replacing you now on Indeed. Low key, yeah, low key. <laughs> so, <laughs> that'll probably be my biggest thing. Right yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just get trying to figure out how to get out the corporate world Square and get business. into something else. So it's one that you know you get that feeling. Like it's time you time move around, yeah. and you just trying to figure out what's next. Harry Hines, that's open? No. Uh oh, not Harry Hines. <laughs> I like Hello. being free. No. I'm trying to help you out. They ain't arresting them either. <laughs> really? yeah, right? there. No. You working on it right now though. This, this oh is yeah, yeah, for sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah. This is this is part of it, and then of course some other things in my mind I want to venture into. So mm -hmm. it's coming for sure. So yeah. What about you, Boost? You got anything? You always moving around. I'm tired. Oh, my <laughs> I, I clean up, but my closet get right back packed. It's bags, it's suitcases, it's shoes, it's wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Not the wigs. Not and me. I'm just tired of it, but it's just like, I guess you just gotta do what you gotta do. So. Yeah. See, obviously it's glasses too. You got these shades on. I found these out there. I like them. Not I found them. Twin. No sir. Where nah. have you been? No sir. Oh. Ain't none of this going on around the world. Hey, come on, G-Way. Uh. Yeah, but nah, that's what's up. I'm, I'm good though. For I'm sure. just, you know, venting. Can I vent? For sure. For yeah. sure. For sure, square business. With all that being said, before we get any further into everything else, <laughs> we want to shout out our sponsors, Vion, DJ Don Perrion, the 1911 Show, Peace Skills. They P. They always lace us up, so, oh, well, yeah. you know, we got the bottles on deck, and we're going to vent you in. He's done the vent in before, right, so right, gonna, right. this square will be business. your first time venting in, so we I'm going to have you grab your shot and repeat after me. Oh, it's the oath to the show. Over to the show. And don't don't say it weak hearted. You gotta say it strong. Like you're getting in that ring. <laughs> Not weak hearted. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, don't be picking. I can't. No, nah, okay, I'm okay. done. I'm done. <laughs> she can't be good. No so way. I'm gonna have you repeat after me. I uh -huh. promise to keep it real. I promise to keep it real. And tell y'all exactly how I feel. And tell y'all exactly how I feel. I'm gonna tell it like it is a hundred percent. I'm gonna tell it how it is a hundred percent. So excuse me, can I vent? So excuse me, can I vent? Cheers. Hey. Cheers. Welcome to the show. Right Welcome in. Bye. Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh yeah, now we're about to get into it. So how many No, I'm just I ain't gonna lie, that's sweet. That's just yeah, sweet. that's right to say it. Ain't that sweet. bad? That ain't that bad. Boy, that's I won't yeah. scrape the cup a little bit. <laughs> 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 well, I'm sorry, that's good. <laughs> Before before we start, I got a quick question for my cousin over here. What's happening? Since, because I know this on the radio, you've been going to all these different food spots. Is that like your new thing now? Just trying mm -hmm. out all the different spots in Dallas and giving the reviews? Okay, yeah. Okay. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Okay. So, you know, like with the whole like dating thing, that yeah, was yeah, my yeah, little, yeah. little shtick mm -hmm. to get in mm -hmm. there. Well, now you kind of got to figure out how to evolve it a little bit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You going to these places, you might as well turn it into more content. True. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's like squeezing the limit for all it's got. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah, it kind of turned into yeah. that. Okay. I was going to new places, going on these dates and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, it's just like, okay, I might as well, like, tap Ooh. in with the restaurant Don't. owner where I'm going. Yeah. Don't call that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they was they was <laughs> dates. With the air quotes. Nah, for real. They was, they was dates. People going to be watching yeah. this like, so what? Uh-uh. <laughs> So, hey, so what was we day? doing? Yeah, for real. You know, one girl tried to kick my dough in already. Oh, so this yeah. year already? Nah, that was like oh. that was like last year or so. Ooh. But she cool people now. We still we we cool now. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Keep on right. Oh. Cool now. That's my dog. Oh, nah, now. Sure. I just I just wanted to ask that because I know he be hitting up all the food spots. So I be Man, trying to take like, a list. I show me my yeah, list. Make a list. Show me my check this spot out. I need to check this one out. Yes, sir. So, okay. What's happening? Nah, for sure. He gonna see you. He gonna see you the list. So now we're gonna get into what's called the Can I Vent Discussion Ball. So it can be questions in here about you, social media, things in the world, politics, relationships. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bugs or insects? No. Yeah, some more insects. So with the she put it in there. If it's bugs, insects, I put it in there. Yeah. So you just grab one of these, you'll read it out, and then answer it. Some of them may not be for you. Some of them may be. Right. What female rapper do you think would make a good boxer? 
Ooh. That's a solid start. That's a good question. Ooh. Good place to start. Krishan, bro. I was going to say Krishan. To say she Krishan. Wait, is Krishan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is yeah. she considered a female rapper, though? Yeah, yeah, she, she, got got some she, yeah. she got some She got some songs, though. Pink, Both of them do. Pink is a color, blue is another. Uh-uh. <laughs> the bar for female right? rappers must be in hell, bro. <laughs> Krishan. Damn, that's a good answer, though. Yeah, no, yeah. for sure. Yeah, why Krishan? Like, why, why specifically? Bro, y'all be sitting around bad <laughs> Oh, my her, God. I was like, her sister got more hands than me, to though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Hands. But the second yo, thing, right? Yo, I think, bro, no, she when right. them two she girls right. pulled up on her last season, and they tried to jump her. Dude. Yeah. Was, dude. I was like, she should be I, like a bro, real fighter, okay. like, for real. I heard about this girl. I don't watch the show, but I've heard about this girl. One time somebody showed me a clip where she talked about something, let me teach you, or something like that. That's what it was. That's what it was. Anytime somebody gets Talking like that for you fighting, don't she, fight them. Folks. She hurt them girls. Yeah. Bro. It's like been, hurt dude, them they girls. came out with like three solid knots. Yeah, and I mean, and they started the fight, and they yep. was in the grass. Mm. That's what crazy. That's the crazy part. Do you <laughs> think? Do you think you could take her though? Like hell you know? yeah, hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that's real. It'll be fun though. I ain't gonna lie, cause yeah. I, I used to street fight before I like got in the box, and that's how it started. Oh for real? Okay. God, I got videos in my phone. I'll show like you. random street fights, just like whoever caught you out, you jump out there with them like that. Like, yeah, that's Bro, what I was like. I, like, I, like, I can show you, I swear to God. That's Maybe crazy. Yeah. Now, when you, when you street fighting, do y'all wear the gloves or is it just burnt up? Hell no. Nah. Look at this. Let's fight fight. My God. Bro. Oh, yeah, she got the war wounds approved. Yeah. Y'all talking about big yeah. war yeah. wounds. Yeah. <laughs> I see them. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Dang. Okay. Hey, that's real. So they they come grab like, you, be like, something's And you got on a two finger ring? I know some shit up. Right. I know some shit up. Yeah, that's Hey, what's that, dub? As a boxer, mm-hmm. ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. A female rapper? Mm-hmm. That's hard. Probably just because it's Texas, I say Meg. <laughs> and she got the yeah. size, too. She got the, yeah, yeah, I say Meg. Meg the Stallion will be a, yeah. uh, what you call like a heavyweight. heavyweight. Type, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not because she's big, she like she's just, just tall. tall. Yeah. Right, right. She's just I, I say Meg. Because yeah. yeah. yeah, if she was to become a boxer, it'd be easy for her to put that, yeah. that weight. Excuse yeah. me, that weight back on, get her hands right, and she good. And I'm pretty sure she probably yeah. already know how to fight. Yeah, so, yeah. but yeah, I say maybe. And yeah, she started twerking. She, but but she, what's she, crazy she is distract, you know what I'm saying? Distract the kids. <laughs> she is well, not going to twerk in the fight. Sick, bro. <laughs> That's <laughs> sick, bro. That's sick. She win the match. She'll do it. <laughs> you see how Tank jumped and did a backflip? Black, black she going to throw that time. thing in that ring. Bro. Oh, my God. That is sick, bro. That is sick, bro. It's crazy, though, because a That's lot of the female rap, rap rappers, they just uh, talk, 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 talk. But they can't fight. Once they finally yeah. get to a fight, you be like, yeah. this is the deal. Especially when they do them celebrity Fight, so yeah. yeah. What was her girl? Like, Akbar V. I think she was another mm-hmm. one where she yeah. had got into like a street fight, but it ain't like she really had them shoulders like this. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, okay, she just all mouth, mouth. Right. Yeah. Eve. Yeah. If you go, yeah, rough ride Eve. Eve with the short hair. Yeah. 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 Don't let yeah. that small frame fool. <laughs> with right, the hair, I'll right. take her. Trey, who would you go with? Um, if I had to pick a female rapper, I would say honestly, I say Cardi B. Cardi? I think okay. Cardi yeah, showed yeah. that aggression. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And then I think she probably do kind of like, I think she kind of good but for the show. But that one video yeah. they uploaded of her in the dressing room, she was losing. Which one? She was getting drugged. She was like, she was, like, was, she was stripping. When, when she was used strip. to strip. Yeah. Oh, I ain't see this. You got to send me the link. I'm not, <laughs> it's on <laughs> X. You know what I'm saying? Not this on X. X the only one got link. some shit. I ain't yeah. know that. I ain't never seen that. Okay. Well, she mm-hmm. might have worked on her technique now. You know, she got money she and got stuff money like that now. Yeah. Might be with a trainer. Like a yeah, she yeah. hired somebody now. Yeah. With a trainer, Ali. Right. I'll say cool. Um, <laughs> when eating healthy, what? Oh, snap. When eating healthy, cheat mm-hmm. day or no cheat day? I'm sorry. That boy can't read. I can't. <laughs> How I was worded, I'm like, when, yeah, yeah. when nah, eating I mean, healthy, cheat day or no cheat day? Cheat day. Cheat day. Like, cheat what, day. what you going to eat on your cheat Two day? Yeah, it's like. Bro, I love spaghetti, bro. Spaghetti? I love spaghetti, <laughs> and I love tacos, street tacos, bro. So okay. is spaghetti a side dish, or do you eat it by itself? I eat it by itself, to chicken. be honest. Oh, Who is we? You right. Louisiana people? No. That's a yeah. meal. Oh, y'all don't eat spaghetti either? Y'all don't eat fish with y'all spaghetti yeah. either? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, wow. That's like some Midwest, yeah. yeah. That's like some yeah. Midwest, I guess now, Louisiana. No, that ain't enough. 
Why? Yeah. What? <laughs> you put it extra. Move, y'all go ahead and finish the question. Spaghetti is a whole How meal big is our back trying to get? <laughs> uh, <laughs> chair. This chair. Okay, so that's my problem then. I got it. I got it. Okay, stop, stop putting meals with meals instead of sides. Yeah, okay, yeah. you tripping. Spaghetti is a, is a meal. Yeah. Oh, so, okay, so spaghetti. How, okay, let me ask you this. When you eat your spaghetti, do you put sugar in your spaghetti or do you just eat it like, you know, like with the sauce? A little bit. Like? Not, not too crazy, though. Okay, all right. For not sure. too crazy. I'm sugar not a sugar spaghetti that. person. You know what? You catch some people like this. I never put sugar on there. You don't put so, sugar in your spaghetti? I just need the enough sauce and I'm good. But yeah, well, I know when you're okay. cooking it, you can't add, if you want like the sweet taste, Yeah, for sure. I sauce. do put hella Parmesan on there though. Yeah. I do too. I'm I'm like hella, I'm I'm with you. I love hella. Parmesan. Like, I'm trying, yeah. I'm with yeah. you. Yeah. Real I'm shit. emptying the whole thing. Hella. <laughs> when we go to Olive Garden, Everybody. the dude sitting there nah, like, nah, like, what's up with you? I put it on the top. like that commercial. I put it on the top, I mix it, I put some again, I mix it and I put some again. And then later on, if I feel like it's still not enough, I put some again, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you be in the kitchen like, I'm going to just take this. Take it to the room. I ain't coming back in. That's so, okay, so with the tacos, is it is it corn or flour? Corn. Corn tortilla? Corn is right. smacking lazy. Which one falling apart? Is it corn? Corn, I corn think. Corn falling apart. It's a little, it's a little. They put two, though. Okay, okay. Double up. Gotcha, gotcha. That's a play. So when you, like, before you go into training, like, when or when you go into training, what's your meal playing in mm. uh most of it is like grilled chicken white or brown rice and like broccoli okay. cauliflower and i like vegetables and fruit so it's really not hard God, okay. Okay. but okay. after a while eating the same thing mm-hmm. kind of like irritates me yeah, my snack. Snack. Yeah, yeah so that's when the cheat day comes in okay, uh, okay. Yeah. do they give you one during your training like you get like one cheat day like doing I the give it to myself, day. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, myself, I no got you. Y'all ain't heard nothing. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. I give them to they'll, myself. Bro. I was gonna say they'll know they anyway when you yeah, in there yeah, sluggish. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. They'll pick up on it. Like if you ate something you wasn't supposed yeah. to. So yeah. I do it towards the end of the week though. Okay. That way I'm not okay. training. Like we get like one or two rest days. So like Saturday, we'll go run like some long miles, and then Sunday I got off to rest. So I'll gotcha. do it like Saturday right after the miles. And oh, I okay. run okay. on my Saturday? Yeah. In the Dedication. Morning. Unsign no, me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Unsign like, me up. No you good? You Unsign. Good? Like, no. no I'm good. I be feeling like that in the middle of the runs too, though, because they be long, bro. <laughs> long run. I hate running, bro. I really do. That's. I think that's like the worst part. Now with I the think. running, do it help with like do it help build your the wind cardio. up? Yeah. yeah, it helps with but, the cardio, but yeah. we like to do more sprints to get that that recovery Mm. better because like whenever you're doing like long distance it's like you're pacing yourself so that's more so like you know like when you're boxing but like let's say that you get into like a bra in the middle of the fight then that's when those sprints come in Mm. because it's like so much easier to get that recovery and then when you're doing your sprints you're out of breath and now you're sitting there trying to work to get that back you okay. Know what I'm so okay. We do a lot of sprints more than we do long distance. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Right. So on. my track coach wasn't crazy. <laughs> nah. Nah. It was a purpose. Wait, what I'm running a mile for? It was a purpose. A- yeah. <laughs> Boost, you know, then when your ass ain't run track. Who you see, see it on the ring, man? You ran track. Nah, I did hurdles. Yeah. Oh God, at look at you, little Shakari over here. Yeah, really? Look at her. She showed me pictures. Yeah. Yeah. You I see my shoulder. I said the same <laughs> thing. Pull my head back around. He was athletic. You find out. I can't believe it. She showed me. I was like, oh, okay. I think. Why you ain't believe on athletics? Cause you didn't. Don't you know. don't give athleticism. Yeah. <laughs> I be that playing football, football, basketball. Y'all see now though. Look at you. True. True. Y'all see Look at you. True. Now y'all know I struggled. Had DISD see, education. You talking about me? <laughs> oh, and my, and my uncle from Richardson. <laughs> so why you over here talking? I ain't know gonna come this way. Yeah. See? Yeah. Now you're black now. Sidebar. Yeah. Why you got two watches? Oh, uh, so do. you know what's crazy? One of them reminds me to be thankful. Uh, like, yeah, one of them, I get that question all the time. This one reminds me to be thankful because when I got it, um, I didn't react how I should have, and I have an issue receiving gifts. Mm. Gotcha. That's, That's a short true. version. Okay. Um, so to the question, um, have you crossed paths with Errol uh, since you have become a pro boxer? Errol Spence, of course. No, I haven't. I turned pro in May, so no, I haven't okay. right now. No. Okay. Do y'all do y'all run in the same circles? Like, do y'all train at the same spot? Do y'all? We don't train at the same spot. We know it's like we know a lot of the same people. Okay. So right we've on. been in the same facility before. Yeah. What would be that one question that you ask when you do bump into him? What is that one question that you want to like pick his brain about? Um, that you can get like some kind of advice from, bro, when you run into him. I think I would ask him like how to handle the pressure of like the crowd mm-hmm. and seeing like. Cause you can only imagine, bro, when you walk out and you just look up and see like 
thousands of people, people, bro. Staring at yeah. you. Like, it's like, dude, you're like really on the spot. Like, yeah. that's, that was, I ain't gonna lie. That makes me nervous. Yeah. That makes another, me ready to fight. It's the crowd. Yeah. 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 I, I could be good, watching, bro. So, yeah. I could be good. Like, even now, bro, like having my family there, mm -hmm. like, that shit makes me nervous, yo. Really? Mm -hmm. For real. Oh, just from the, the brief interaction that we've had from me speaking to you before the show, uh, speaking right now, um, it seems like you handle pressure and you handle yourself very well though yeah so you wouldn't be able to tell that you are nervous you know what i'm saying in those type of situations because you seem solid not saying that you're not because mm -hmm. of that but you don't seem like that would affect you in the ring it's like you can push that to the side and still focus on the mission i keep my composure bro but i'll be shitting bricks <laughs> <laughs> like for real i'll be shitting bricks fam because yeah. i mean at the end of the day like people are there to watch you and support you and it's like you don't want to let anybody down yep, you know right. what i'm saying so that's like to me, when people ask me, like, what the hardest part about boxing is, I always tell them the pressure of being great, bro. Mm. Because everybody has these expectations for you, mm -hmm. and it's like they've helped you, and, you know, you're where you are because of them. Because mm. I didn't do this by myself, bro. Absolutely. Like, I was yeah. I was a troubled kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, it took a whole village, bro. It really did. Like, when people say that, it, it really did take a whole yeah. village, bro. And I just don't want to let anybody down. So okay. that would be my, my biggest thing, bro. Like, I would have to ask them about I like it. Yes. That makes sense. So what did you think of Spence and Crawford's fight when they Dude, I was sad, sad bro. Yeah. I wanted to cry, bro. <laughs> I think, all of that I think the deep. whole city yeah. the whole city had flew out, so I yeah. know that yes. yeah, I wanted to cry, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. I remember watching that and like the first time he got dropped, I just couldn't believe it, bro. Because mm -hmm. the whole build up it was like, Oh, it's a fifty fifty fight. Right. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But he completely just like got washed up. Mm -hmm. I was like, bro, Do you that's think so cool. that was the thing? The pressure of it? Because, I mean, you hadn't been fighting for a while, you hadn't been training. You had all these issues like right before that you recover and now it's like you doing a it's major fight, fight yeah. and the whole mm -hmm. city's here. Uh, I think that could have played like, like they could have played. Cause he didn't really yeah. seem like yeah. himself. He didn't play the part. Yeah, yeah. but he seen Crawford is good. Yeah, Crawford. Yeah. I, Crawford I, I really good. think good. that most of it was Crawford just being that good, bro. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I feel like Crawford could just adapt, bro. That's his like. That's what makes him stand out to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, his ability to adapt to anything that's in front yeah. of him, bro. Like, literally within, like, a round or two, he'll have you figured out. It's crazy, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's so like, crazy. Okay, you about to throw left and yeah. come back. Yeah. And do that. So yeah. if you were in Spencer's corner and you saw him go down that first time, like, what would have been your coaching to him? Get up. Like especially with you with you being a boxer, and I'm sure when you were watching it, you yeah. and your mom was like, Okay, maybe he need to do this or do, if I was him, I would do that. You know? I so, would have like, wanted him to box more, bro. Okay. Because Spence's style is more so like a like a pressure mm -hmm. type of like fight style. And I would have wanted him to box a little bit more okay. because he was just coming forward and pressing. Right, right, pressing and hard. Crawford was just feeding off of that, bro. Yeah. Mm. So he was getting caught and, and countered and, you know, with, with bro, like stuff that you couldn't even see, fam. Like, yeah. I would have told him to just try to box, bro. Box, yeah. That makes sense. Let me, let yeah. me ask you this. Do you think that, because a lot, it's been a lot of talk about like a rematch, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think that if there is a rematch that'll happen, do you think that the outcome would possibly be different? Or do you think that it probably would end the same way as the first one? I don't think it's necessary, bro. I think it would be worse, fam. You think so? Mm. I think so. Yeah. Just yeah. to show him. Honestly, because yeah, it's, it's different. Mm. It's different if you fight somebody the first time and it's a close fight or it's like okay. controversial or mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying or people are going like like nah like he could have done this and maybe he could have adapted better bro there was nothing that Spence could have done right, yeah. to stop that bro like right. He was getting his ass whooped. Oh, I was <laughs> sick. Just, was oh my good. god, it I happened. was sick. I'm like, I was I sick. Bro. I didn't know what to do, bro. I was Yo. sick. Yeah. I, forgot I, was I was at sick. a fight party when the fight. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. We still did. 100. That's the We was at a fight party when the fight happened. Everybody in the fight party was quiet. It's like we were all in the ring. That's how it is during the Dallas games. I threw. I threw one. I threw one. And I was like. Dang, I'm mad I paid for this. Like, yeah, all you threw one? Like, yeah, I threw one for that fight. It turned into yeah. Friday. Let's jump. Like, it, it got quiet. Like, <laughs> let's jump. Nah, like, look, it, it didn't help because we was drinking and watching it. it. Everybody, let's take a shot. Like, it got to get better. Like, Anybody got Carisha, please. <laughs> like, I was like, nah, but we still behind them, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A thousand percent. Yeah, yeah, still Big behind fish. Them. For sure. So for with sure. all of that, what does it take to be a professional boxer? Mm. I think discipline more than anything. I think you could have the skill and, you know, the power, that one-punch knockout power, but 
I think if you don't have the discipline to get up and do the things that you don't want to do, it's not going to work. Run on Saturday. Cause I, yeah, all that running, I hate it, but I do it because I have to. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, imagine, like, all right, let's say I say fuck running, right? I go in the ring and the girl's tough. I can't knock her out. Mm-hmm. What the fuck am I gonna do then? Right. She you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, in I can't. Everything. I can't do nothing because I'm out of shape. Right. What am I gonna do? So I think it's discipline, bro. Just the, the discipline to want to do things that you, that you don't want to do. Don't do. So okay. a lot of that's a good. One. That's a really yeah. good. One. Is it more? Me- so it's basically just more mental toughness than the yeah, skill yeah. side yeah. of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Okay. Definitely. What, what makes you a pro? Like on paper, like what you gotta go through. Um. So, honestly, anybody could be a pro, bro. Like, Sign you could, up. really, <laughs> anybody up. could be a pro, bro. Like, you got to take a physical. You don't need any amateur, like, you know, mm. background right. or nothing like that. Like, you could be a pro. That doesn't mean that you're going to go far, though. <laughs> right, right. So, but anybody could sign up and be a pro. So, you just get, like, physicals done and certain medicals done, like, blood tests, and then... You just go up to the commission. You pay a fee. It's like a twenty dollar fee to get your license, and then you're good. Mm, okay. Twenty dollars. I'm a pro boxer. You finna I'm outside, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who's he gonna be in the ring posting up like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with him? Yeah. Come on, bro. Meet me. me. <laughs> like, 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 come on, back. I'm gonna have a Ken Ivan boxing short. We got you. We got you. So it's back on you. See, I ain't the only one. Who are your favorite <laughs> male and female? Uh, I think my favorite right now would be Tank. My favorite female fighter would be either Amanda Serrano or Katie Taylor. Okay. Yeah. I heard of Amanda before. Yeah. Uh, or seen like one or two of her fights or whatever. Yeah. So she pretty why, too. Why those? Why those three? I guess really. Why? Think, what is it so special about them? Tank because of his story, where he comes from. And just how resilient he is. And then Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor because of how much they put on for women's boxing. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Do you see yourself in any fighter who's doing that thing right now? Like, do you see yourself um, in anybody that you watch currently right now? Like, okay, I kind of like box the same way. Or do you take anything from any of those people that you watch and be like, okay, I can implement that with my game? Yeah. Um, I think. I like Tank, though. I like watching Tank because he's so exciting. And that's what I want to be to people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like even if I don't get the knockout, bro, like, I'm going to go in there and I'm, I'm going to fight, bro. Like, I'm going to stand toe-to-toe with you and we're going to fight, bro. That's, 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 that makes a great fight. Right. Too. Yeah, that's because... What, like, Tyson and Muhammad mm-hmm. Ali was. Yeah. yeah. The excitement of it. And I think like that, bro, because people pay to come watch me, bro. Like, mm-hmm. people work... And, and pay and you like you know what I'm saying like spend yeah. money to come watch me bro like I want people to keep coming back mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I want people to root for me and, and want to watch me I'm not going to be boring bro right. I'm not going to do that at least right. you mm-hmm. care so there's another fan of security no <laughs> shit no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no no I think he's a great boxer fights. though yeah. I think he's a great boxer though and he's the most skillful in his weight class but I just feel like he's just He's just boring, no, bro. Like, like, nowadays, yeah. like, people want to be on the edge of their seats, bro, and want to mm. be like, oh, shit, let me not go do nothing because right. I might miss it. You oh, know what right, I'm saying? Right. And he's just not like that, bro. Like, he'll box. He'll beat your ass, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. and you won't but hit him. Bar. But it's boring. It's boring. Can, can yeah, I ask you a question kind of off the cuff a little bit? Have you ever been touched? Like, have you ever been in the ring with a girl and you like, damn, she got it. Like, she kind of got a little... She got a little show down. Nah, but I spar a lot of dudes though. Okay, okay. I spar a lot of dudes and they're all like they're all heavy. They're all like one seventy. I walk around, my heavy is like one fifty two, one fifty three. Damn, okay. And so they I spar a lot of dudes that are like one seventy, one eighty. I have a, a sparring partner junior that's like two fifteen, bro. Oh, wow. And I spar mm-hmm. him all the time. Okay, right. So on. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, for I've sure. been hit, bro. But yeah. I've up. never I've never like dropped though. Yeah. I've okay. never dropped. Okay. When you told me his name was Junior, that's all I needed to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know what Junior looked like yeah. right now. <laughs> Junior sound like he, he liked that. He sound he liked that for real. Why Junior's, Junior's always so big? He's that's like 6'3", like bro. For real? He's like 6'3", 6'2", like 215. I got a random question too, though. So why didn't Ronda Rousey translate over to... What boxing, was it? To boxing. Yeah. From UFC From, to yeah. boxing. What happened? She why why is right? that not the... She went to wrestling, she right? She went to wrestling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, went she, to wrestling. she went to wrestling instead of boxing. I don't know. To be honest, I think... Like, for MMA fighters, I think they're striking is what they call boxing. That's mm-hmm. what, like, boxing mm-hmm. is for them, striking. So, I think... 
I honestly don't know. Yo. No, it's really. just two completely I think different. MMA, like the the MMA fighters, they they box kind of weird, bro. They're really? more like square. Like us, like we stand like this, mm -hmm. so it makes the target a lot smaller. We move a lot easier. MMA fighters fight like this. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's more right. like so a you'll square. Beat, so you'll beat yeah, the yeah. shit out of one of them. So Just because they're easier to hit. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. oh, wow. they're a little more flat footed and, you know, like they, they're they square. Like you pressure them and they don't really, they, they can't do ball. anything because they mm. can't, they're either going to grapple you or, but you yeah. can't do that in boxing, bro. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Which is like, why Floyd yeah. was able to be kind of like, kind of exactly. on that. Because so, yeah. mm -hmm. that's why I didn't transition. Exactly. Perfect example. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Because exactly. yeah. you see the two sports and you think like, okay, they pretty even. They pretty, like, fairly um, equal when it comes to fighting. But yeah. you don't look at it like that. The first yeah. time yeah, I, I seen so. MMA, I was just watching. I was like, why they in a cage like that? Then I seen yeah. a foot just fly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then boxing, karate, <laughs> all in one. Yeah, yeah. 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 God, you kick me, I'm done. Wrap it up. Uh -oh. <laughs> that shit would piss me off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Like, let me go, bro. Because yeah. they be grabbing yeah, each other and, yeah. like, like, get off me. Doing, bro. like, hip toss and shit. Like, bro, yeah. let me go, bro. Yeah. Let me go. Like, <laughs> so, no. All right. Is. So, how is it balance, balancing boxing with relationships and personal life? Mm. Um, Honestly, the. The people that I have around me and the relationship that I'm in, they understand that I can't, you know, like go out whenever they want me to mm -hmm. and and just be out and about all the time because of my training. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's not really a problem for me. Like, okay. I, um, I'm actually pretty good with like balancing like my, you know, like my boxing stuff and like my family life. Like when I'm on vacation, I go see my family for like mm -hmm. a week or two. Gotcha. I spend all my time over there. I don't talk about any boxing, bro. No okay. boxing. Mm -hmm. I don't that want anybody helps. talking yeah. to me about Clear nothing. Because that's like, that's like y'all leaving work and that's the only thing that people want to talk to you about. <laughs> like, it's yeah. so annoying, bro. I don't want to yeah. talk about work. No. Yeah, like, yeah. bro, like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, sometimes it's annoying because a lot of my uncles ask me about stuff mm -hmm. like that, but they they never make it long it's never like a long conversation Yo. it's like mm. it's short you know what i'm saying like they ask me like oh how are you doing like mm. when are you fighting and that's the end of that like okay, nothing right. else so nothing else sweet, bro. Sweet, yeah. sweet. i'm sitting here so. trying to eat my turkey and right here <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Bro. Right <laughs> can now. i finish hey, my that turkey one, that one round what happened yeah, yeah, right right, right. <laughs> right. See, do you ever get anybody that gets i guess upset with you like if you don't have the time per se or they um, like, i know you said everybody understands but nah like my dad okay. is in the gym with me all the time okay. my mom understands when i can't call she calls me every now and then to check on me like uh my girlfriend or whatever she like she understands you know gotcha. what i'm saying that okay. i can't always and she's out of town too so okay. you know i leave on the weekends i train mm -hmm. here and then i leave on the weekends and then you know i spend my time over there so gotcha. I, I try to I try my best to balance it yeah i try my best to balance it yeah okay i got another question for you um coming from the bowl uh, <laughs> common misconceptions for female boxers what are they what are some common misconceptions about female barbers uh female boxers mm, i don't know i can't think of any to be honest uh I don't know. I think we we'll have to come back on. Okay, no, for sure. Is we'll it sure. harder for y'all to go in a room and like contract wise and like uh, sit down and figure out, I guess, what the splits are? Because I know that's what will hold up a lot of fights. Mm. For me, I haven't experienced that okay. because of my amateur background, gotcha. because of what I did with Team USA, and because I could punch. Okay, you know, a okay. lot of females can't punch. Mm. Like they don't have the okay. the one punch power knockout. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like such as. You know they can't punch. Yeah. Like, gotcha. They can't punch. Yeah. I've never had that problem yeah. though, so I don't know. So they got to okay. talk to you. I feel like I feel like that's different. one right there. Yeah. yeah. Cause like in that my head when I when I when I thought about it, I was like, okay, well, like sometimes I always hear that female boxers they can't punch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ain't no power behind it. But judging by your Instagram and that one <laughs> right. chick yeah. that you put on the mat over the head, and she got up looking <laughs> like uh, Martin when he fought hit me in her. She was <laughs> slowly. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was yeah, like, bro. Ralph, please hold right. her. I Ralph. said, stop it. Please yeah. stop. You stop definitely it. good from the start. You yeah, definitely yeah. got some power behind I, your punch. And I don't even know where I get that from, though, bro. <laughs> like, I swear, fam. Like, because I don't do much. Like, I don't do a lot of strength, like, strength conditioning. So, Yo. it's mm -hmm. like, I don't know where I it's get natural. that from. But, it's but natural. That's, natural. that's yeah, different, yeah, though, because yeah. you said with street fighting. I feel like mm -hmm. I've done... Of course, everybody has had a fight or two in the street. Yeah, but sure. when I was in Germany, they had a girl. She was like a pro boxer, and nobody would spar with her. So mm -hmm. they put me. And she used to <laughs> beat my ass, okay? She was the, the, the but, crazy. Bro, oh, right, bro. 
Uncle Sam used me for a lot of bullshit. I'll tell you about that another day. I'm going to tell you all about it. They say, look, we ain't got nobody. Go get boosted. Yeah. Give her a helmet. Get in there. She'll beat my ass. But I just feel like street fighting and having a street strength and a street sense of mind to make sure you bob and weave. You know what I'm saying? And people who just solely come in training, it's two different things. So when you combine the two, mm. which is what everybody keeps saying about uh, Yaya son, he got a uh, young boy mm-hmm. attitude, mm-hmm. Yaya attitude, but Mayweather training. Right. Mm-hmm. And they say he going to be cold. So when you combine mm-hmm. the two, you think that kind of mm. pushes it and helps. That's where the strength really comes from. Or you just be mad. Like, I, I don't fuck you know, time. I, bro, <laughs> man, man, I don't like be mad, like bro. You just want to fight and win. <laughs> yeah, nah, bro, I don't know what it is about me, bro, but like, I just like to fight, just bro. Some, yeah, I like to, f- and I'm yeah. never mad though. You know what I'm saying? I'm never mad, bro. I'm never mad, bro. Where does where does that where does that come? Like, did your? I know you say your dad sometimes he trains with you. Did he get you into the sport? Did your mom? Did your uncle? Like, yeah. who got you into the sport of boxing when you were like a kid, or was it just something that you kind of felt? Nah, bro. My dad did that. Okay. I was getting in trouble. I was fighting like every other day. I was getting kicked out of school, expelled, right. yeah. like all type of stuff, bro. And then he was just like, you know what? Let's go try this boxing gym. It was five minutes from the house, bro. I swear to God. Mm. Tell me why the coach was an Olympic coach, bro. Oh, Perfect. Wow. I swear yeah. to God. Yeah, yeah, I swear to God, I could not make this up, bro. His <laughs> name is Pete Rojas, bro. Yeah. And he was an Olympic coach, fam. <laughs> five minutes from my house, bro. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I run to his gym to this day. Yeah, like, yeah. bro, that's crazy. And then I got in there, and I think, like, my first week, bro, like, dude, bro, he put me in there with, like, a 24-year-old. Yeah. And... At the time, I was like fourteen. Okay. I, nah, I'm actually I'm lying. I might have been like thirteen. I might have okay. like like a fresh thirteen, yeah. and I had sparred her, and I was like brawling, bro. Yeah. Like no boxing, nothing, right. nothing, right. nothing, right. nothing. Yeah. nothing. Yeah. Like I'm talking about just fight. windmill, bro. Oh, like yeah. just windmill, bro. Yeah. And I got winded within like a minute, but then I got it back. I don't know where it came from, but then mm. I got it back, and I actually did really good, bro. Okay. Like it was a lot of back and forth. I didn't beat her so up or anything. Yeah, it's really yeah, yeah. he it's saw it in you from what it sounds yeah. like too. Yeah. He put you in that position, like okay, like, if she with the right mode and the right coaching, yeah, yeah. this could be something. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Why would get paid to be people, real? Did yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm gonna go pink get in trouble with it. Man, why the pink ones got to be so long? Full mm-hmm. talking business. <laughs> um, <laughs> talking clear business. Pause. Uh, what advice would you give young women who are interested in pursuing boxing? Mm. I say just go for it. Mm-hmm. Really, I say take that chance and be disciplined, be consistent, and just show up for yourself, if nothing else. Yo. You know, because I feel like you got to believe in yourself before anybody else believes in Big you. Facts. So. Big facts. Big facts. Listen, don't go in there and get your ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> know what you're doing. Know what you're doing. Right. That it, ain't what she's saying. <laughs> it sounds kind of like... If you can't fight, she just ain't go to the ring. Right, uh-uh. right. But if you want to... If it ain't to, in you, don't yeah. try it. Don't try it's, it. It sounds kind of like you have a story, right? Like yeah. you, you came up and you were um, not the best, like attitude-wise kid. You know what I'm saying? You had a, a hard upcoming, uh, yeah. upbringing, um, just because of whatever reason. Do you think that somebody who is probably in that same position as you that might have like attitude issues or might have like some um some acting out type issues, do you think that boxing would be a recommendation for you to kind of get them in line and get them on the right track? Definitely, bro, cuz I think I think boxing is a lot like life, bro. Mm-hmm. You got to have a lot of grit and tenacity, you know what I'm saying, to be able to get to wherever it is you want to go, bro. Mm-hmm. Like you know, in the gym, we get tired. We got to do one more. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got to push through. And, you know, let's say somebody's better than us. And, you know, our whole thing is to go back and train and then eventually be as good as them or even better than them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's I feel like that's the same way when it comes to life, bro. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be in your way. And you just got to have the grit, bro, and, and be tenacious about it. And yeah. just, you know, like, like want to be better for yourself, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I like that. I think boxing is a lot like life. So, so I feel like I feel like boxing is good for anybody, bro. Absolutely. Honestly. Absolutely. It's Dedication. Just a lot of, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, for sure, sure. That's dope. Yeah. All right. Last one. Just Back kidding. to the bone. Just kidding. Uh-uh. Just kidding. <laughs> um, What politics do you hate about boxing? She read like a Saints fan. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was... That was uh, a, that was an intrusive thought that came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So like Shakur, like we this was just what happened when you don't switch classes <laughs> in school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> no, so like how we were just talking about Shakur, like that's kind of like a positive thing in itself because he's not exciting, right? But he's a really good boxer. But because that's not what people want to see, you don't get to be in the front. Yeah. Time exposure, like yeah. right. Yeah. That's kind of how music yeah. is too, though. Mm. Yeah, so we gone. True. I mean, we've been about everything. Uh, you can get on TikTok, get all the views and everything you want. You don't have to have the talent as long as you get what the record labels need, which right. is numbers, right. money, and people. You get so, pushed to the front of the line yeah, yeah. over somebody with the talent and the lyrics yeah, and yeah, all that. Mm-hmm. That's real. Then they get yeah. you to go right for them. Yo, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 yeah, now they're stars. So. <laughs> yeah, that so, makes sense. So when it comes to like the pay per view main events, like which fights have you? most look forward to like as far as that has happened or that may be coming up mm. um <clears throat> i like tank's fight y'all gonna like oh, yeah, man i feel I'm like i'm talking tank about fan. tank a lot bro. i mean he had the top tank right come on yeah. now good reason i like tank fan. Come on, yeah. so i'm right there with you i like <laughs> tank there's this fighter from san antonio his name is bam and he's like in the smaller weight class he's like a 115 but he's so exciting bro mm-hmm. he's so exciting the whole fight he's just pressing 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 he's beating you up and he's not getting touched mm-hmm. so it's i like watching him I like watching tank i like watching canelo and Canelo a bad boy yeah as a bad boy yeah. Yeah. So, so how did you feel about that whole thing with uh Jake Paul and, and Tyson, Tyson. Oh, yeah. and then they changed the rules to try to make his gloves heavier like do you think he could have really won that <laughs> like Tyson they still gonna fight though in they November fight, so it's yeah, still it's, long. I think Mike Tyson is still Mike Tyson you know <laughs> but he's a lot older mm-hmm. oh and and Jake Paul is what like 20 something my only thing yeah, but did you see him in that little fight, snippet? No he was fight fighting. Though. That's mm, mitts, never. though. Yeah. That's uh, mitts. It's so different. It's different. Like, when you're hitting the mitts and the mitts aren't hitting you back, that is completely different because just somebody's accuracy. just holding it. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah, basically. You're just, it's not the same level of intensity. It's not the, you know, like, dude, mitts and actually fighting is completely different. Yo. It's, it's completely different. different. Hit back. Yeah, I, I want to <laughs> see him yeah, spar. Right. If I if, like, if I could see like a video of like Mike Tyson sparring right yeah, now, then maybe I could, I, maybe it'll give me an idea of what mm-hmm. it'll be like. But you know, I I've seen like him. If he catch him with one of them, he out of there. Mike or Jake? Jake out of there. Okay, Mike. Mike, Mike catch, yeah, he's still yeah. Mike Tyson yeah, for yeah, sure. Like, he's still no, Mike yeah. Tyson. Sure. But just, with Jake, he hadn't fought no real fighters. No, nah, he like, hasn't. Not one, and he, he hasn't. Ah. so much like he done been in the ring. But he paid his twenty, yeah. but, so he'll probably. Oh, uh-uh, shut up! Not he paid his. <laughs> so he yeah, signed yeah. that paperwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He signed. Yeah. Like granted, like I'm not saying he can't fight, but he yeah. hasn't. We don't know what he can do against a real fighter at his weight class. Yeah, you know? I say this. He I feel like nobody. if Mike, if, if if Mike go in there like she said, because we were talking about this a little bit earlier, mm-hmm. and, and you had mentioned if he lose focus and and Jake catch him, it could, it could be a wrap for bro. True, yeah. you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. So I think Jake knows at least enough to maybe pull out a victory if Mike lose focus or, you know, Mike, like she said, up there in age, if Mike start to, like, feel that pancreas start to kick in <laughs> after one of these. <laughs> yeah. Hell, you feel Time that pancreas. <laughs> Jake, get it, take advantage of it, and then it's a, it's a done deal for Because the crazy part is, oh, my bad. No, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead go I was going to say, because the crazy part is with Mike, if y'all remember when he used to fight, he used to press everybody. Mm-hmm. So Mike didn't sit back and chill. Yeah. Like, Mike went at you. When he yeah. chilled, that's when he lost. See, so, but, <laughs> but you got to think about all the damage that Mike has taken That's while he was a yeah, pro yeah, because he was so a heavyweight mm-hmm. he's been knocked out a couple times right, you right. know what i'm saying That's true. and but you know like people don't take that into consideration bro he's been knocked out mm-hmm. and that really does take a toll on your brain yeah, bro. true real deal nah, for like, sure with anything deal. like That's more of a health scare for real. yeah mm-hmm. exactly yeah. and he just had right? that health yeah. scare which is why they pushed Plus it back you know yeah. what i'm saying so that's I, true yeah but i don't, we don't really want to see mike be thrown it's not about Jake. Nah, but yeah. it's gonna happen. <laughs> That's how lose. I I really yeah. feel like I, f- I really feel like Mike Tyson is gonna lose. I, he might uh, even get like dropped, bro, because yeah. of how how much he's just older. Put you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. he's he's I'm a taking a lot. I'm a trust jersey. Really, really, really though. Yeah, really? yeah, that's solid. I didn't I didn't oh, think no, about. Bro, I, I don't want to see that though, bro. I love Mike Tyson, bro. I love Mike Tyson. Mike was like, I see Mike hit that canvas like that from a YouTuber. We riding, though. Hey, cut this off, fool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cut it off. Like, I don't want to see And they fighting in Dallas, too? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't, don't want to yeah. see that. Like, yeah, we're done. Yeah, I don't hey, want to see that. Can I, ask you, can I ask you one question that's kind of left out of there? Um, That's not, that's off the cuff, too. 
Um, I, there's always this kind of like notion about like Hispanic fight, fighters, okay. how they are, they tough. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, and then like African American fighters, they're a little bit more flashy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you see? Um, I guess with those kind of like stereotypes, do you see? that being kind of the case in the boxing world or do, like it, it, is it just anybody any given day can run up on you and they can be tough or anybody can be flashy dude is there something to those stereotypes basically yeah yeah for real. <laughs> yeah. yeah i could yeah like a canelo yeah. i always I always heard of the conversation that canelo is a hard fighter you know what i'm saying yeah. he got a tough chin it's hard to knock him down you know what i'm saying but you don't really hear that when it comes to a lot of the african-american fighters like a tank you know what i'm saying yeah. but it, i've never seen tank hit the canvas he might have but you don't really hear that a lot when it comes to like the african-american fighter so you would say there is some kind of like precedence behind I it i think so yeah for sure i think so for sure yeah why do you think that is though I don't know. I think it's just the way that we're brought up, not brought up, but mm-hmm. like the way that we're taught in the boxing and stuff, bro. Okay, like right. Mexican coaches and and like like black coaches are just so different. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like they teach boxing different. Okay, so like like let's say that you go to like a Mexican fighter, right? Mm-hmm. Or like a Mexican coach, they're gonna teach you to just come forward most okay. of the time. Okay. Most of the time, like they're gonna teach people. you to just come forward. Exactly, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. Perfect example, bro. Yeah. Perfect mm-hmm. example. They're gonna teach you to just come forward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like a lot of black fighters do like the Philly shell. So okay. they're like more like defensively sound right. and and they'll beat you up if you can't if you can't hit them, if you can't get to them, they'll just like beat Mayweather. you up. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, like Mayweather. Like Mayweather. Yeah. Like Mayweather that makes and people. Sense. Yeah. You're going to have me looking at the next yeah. boxing match. <laughs> yeah, 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 You're going to have me really? looking at it different. Really? But, it, but yeah. it makes sense for like when Tank fought um, Garcia. It was two similar different styles different style. mm-hmm. and you see Garcia got caught. Yeah. yeah. And so it's, sure. yeah, I see exactly. what you get. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it was two different stuff like a fighter like on fight night (laughs) yeah for real like like a like a fighter like mayweather is more accurate Mm yeah like a lot of like like mexican fighters are like just brawling brawling that's a brawl but if they catch you it's a rid out exactly it's a rid out but it makes it harder for (laughs) somebody like mayweather because you don't want to get knocked out yeah for sure how they coming yeah right you done threw all your punches he he right here you he open up that I love boxing. That's, that's take like, yeah. Not now, but I, I like I love to watch a good boxing match. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's, nothing like it. it's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. I hate watching. I them hate when everybody has <laughs> a fight party. Which which fight was it? They had the fight party first round. This shit was all I was like. Uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> But a guy just came over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you we gotta know. We don't watch eight pre fights. I don't know none of them. But that's why you gotta know who fighting because if you if they known for quick knockouts, you gotta make sure you. Sometimes them. Them, yeah. them uh pre fights though them pre the, pre fights they like they like they like yeah. they they the started to play yeah. like, harder the than the main event I mean yeah. the rappers the better yeah. boxers yeah. on the pre fights now yeah. especially yeah. leading up to it so I'm, I'm like you I sit there and watch one yeah, of the pre fights yeah, so mm-hmm. depending on who it is so yeah if it's boring though I'm like I don't want to watch this yeah I'm mad I don't pay for it for real deal do you pay attention to like the heavyweights too like um Tyson Fury and uh what's the Gypsy King I can't think of his real name Tyson Fury is the Gypsy King Tyson Fury yeah but there's Alexander Usyk okay right right and Anthony Joshua Deontay Wilder Deontay Wilder yeah Wilder might as well let it go he might as well let it go he didn't got he didn't but you know what though I think he was only boxing for like two years before he was like, mm. like a like a mm. medalist up in the Olympics and like, yeah. bro, like he really did a lot for him to oh, start yeah, boxing yeah, late, sure. bro. Like, yeah. but he just throw wild punches. But that's that that's, that's what he's known to, for though. That's what he's land. known for though. Yeah. And he Wilder. has that one punch knockout power. Yeah. So he yeah. got he got away with that. Yeah, for I was gonna say yeah, he could be losing it. He got away with that. It's so interesting too how like the shift came. Like back in the nineties when I used to think about going to the fight parties with my daddy and all it mm-hmm. like it would be like the heavyweights like you got you Evander you yeah. got Tyson the big big yeah, yeah. you got all boxing. these big guys now it seems like the smaller fighters the are 140 the ones and 135 yeah. yeah that's the yeah. main attraction though yeah. that's, that's the entertainment crazy. That's mm-hmm. the because you realize then just like even with, with football and stuff they had the hard hits Yo. and all that they moving slow the heavier weights yeah. the yeah. fight take all damn day you gonna go through all the round yeah, yeah. cause it's really like uh, uh. yeah it's yeah. slow they might yeah. go the whole 20 now they might hit you with one good one and knock you out but <laughs> it sure, might take sure. a minute for sure for sure <laughs> With that being said, we done with the bowl. We're going to toss it over to Dub, and we're going to have a little fun now. Yeah, we haven't played in a couple of weeks, so I got to remember the rules. Uh-oh. So we're going to play a game called Can I Guess. And so basically, I'm going to give you, it can be either a person, place, or a thing. 
Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you three different clues. We got five questions. I'm gonna give you three different clues. You just take a guess at what it is. Okay. You get three guesses per question. So after that third guess, I don't want to get you drunk, but just take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, my but, cup is almost gone. Okay, that's all like, I ain't trying to get you drunk today. We at the same, yeah. Y'all about the same. Yeah, we neck and neck. So, um, but if you blurt out an answer before I get through the clues and you're wrong, you got to drink. So, right. as you see, everybody got a buzzer. Trey, you got yellow one. So, um, hit your buzzer. With T-Rex on. Trey, hit your buzzer. <laughs> hit your buzzer. And then, Bree, hit your and then, so everybody got a unique sound, so that way y'all can't say, no, I timed in first. Yeah, so it's yeah. different. So, um, but win. basically, get the answer. Cool. You know, we might have a little gift for you at the end. We don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, <laughs> so, so free you, though? So, you yeah. win. So, you get we, we, the interview released on. <laughs> uh-huh. so, all right. No. So this first one is going to be a place. So the clues are, I'm located in every state and city. People have a, a love-hate relationship with me, and I can be... A good hiding place for anything valuable. Malcolm X Boulevard. <laughs> you know, every state got a Malcolm X Boulevard. Do, but MLK, that, Malcolm X. Neither one of those. Damn, all right, for sure. A bank. Yeah. It's, it's a bank. bank. Yeah, it's, it's a bank. bank. Oh, mm-hmm. it's a bank. Smart ass. Look up. <laughs> no, no, Boosie this is don't very ever, rare. She don't ever win. This so is y'all very let rare. Boosie win, <laughs> she bragging. <laughs> she gonna go on IG and everything and brag. I'm gonna come up here with a crown on next week if she I win bragging. another day. She like the J.J. Williams in the show. She don't oh, never get none of them right. Don't <laughs> no, win. No, no, no. All right, for sure. And of course, bank is in every state and city. The love hate relationship is sometimes they do your money right, sometimes they don't. They don't. You gotta go in and cuss them out. I heard the and then valuables. The good hiding place because they have the vaults, they have mm, the uh, lock boxes. Yeah, that's why I, I would close because in so, the yeah. city, it's a it's a chase bank off Malcolm X and MLK. Right, so, yeah. I would close. I would close. I would close. I would close. <laughs> All right, the next three are gonna be people. So with okay. this one, the first clue is before the fame, I was a Golden Gloves boxer in my teens. I've been in at least 29 movies, but I've never been nominated or won an Oscar. And after hosting Saturday Night Live in 94, I was banned from the show for telling sex jokes. Who am I? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's going to throw uh-uh. y'all off. Uh-uh. No, you don't. Know. I didn't do that. You didn't do it? No, you just make sure uh-uh. it worked. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Man, that's a tough one. Don. It's probably going to throw y'all off. It's going to throw y'all off. You said Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. like a fighter like that. Bro. Can, can we get like a clue? Like, you can get an extra one, yeah. Uh, yeah, I what? forgot. I can give y'all a lifeline. Okay. Uh, what lifeline can I give y'all? Heavyweight, lightweight. <laughs> no, I'm just, that no, ain't. I'm, like, I'm, I'm really bad with actor names. Uh, I'm bad with names, period, Square so I might not even get what move? What was one of the movies? One of the movies? That's giving it away if I tell you the movie. Hangover. Not the Hangover. Oh, no, no. Oh, not the Hangover. I'm trying to think of a good little clue. Ooh. This is tough, right? Without I'm telling yeah. y'all who it is. Yo, this tougher than um, boot level. No, just tell us and then we gotta go fast. We actually spoke about them doing this episode. Today I've been drinking. Uh-uh. <laughs> we spoke, <laughs> we spoke about them during the episode. They were mentioned, oh. they were mentioned during this episode. Uh. <laughs> Doing the taping of Can I Vince? Nah, well, say Lee. Every- hey, run the tape back, Al. Yeah, now I'm about to think. Say everything again. Okay. Yeah, say the, say the clue. Before the fame, I was a Golden Gloves boxer in my teens. I've been in at least 29 movies, but I've never been nominated or won an Oscar. And after hosting Saturday Night Live in 1994, I was banned from the show for telling sex jokes. For telling a sex joke? And Mike Tyson? Was, was it Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson. The bonus nah. one was what? And they... We talked about them on the today. Damn, we mentioned oh, them. Really we mentioned been telling sex jokes we right. talked about today. We ain't say nobody knows that. I'm Trey Judah. Trey mentioned that. Who Trey the person? Said, yeah. He mentioned the person. Trey be talking about a whole bunch <laughs> of names. Not said about 83 names over here. Trey was talking about a whole bunch of names. Yeah, yeah. Y'all give up. Ain't nobody took no guess or nothing. Y'all give up. Ain't nobody took no guess or nothing. Y'all give up. Ain't nobody took no guess or nothing. Y'all give up. Ain't nobody took no guess or nothing. Y'all give up. Ain't they're not a act. They're an actor. They're not a boxer. They not a boxer. They they started off you boxing before they became an actor. Oh shit! That wasn't me. I leaned on it. What? Ooh, Lord have mercy. And they. Trey, early I'm looking teams, at you because you. I know it. it. I don't know. Who the, he he referenced this actor, person. Who, who an actor? You said something about. Fuck. Yeah, for real. Though. <laughs> we got uh, 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 Trey didn't say nothing about no actor. He did. Eddie Murphy. You ain't saying nothing about Eddie Murphy. That's all I got. I don't know. No. I'm out. It was Martin Lawrence. Ah, 
Oh, oh he so I did with Tommy Hitman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Oh, I like Trey oh, referenced him in the show. You just said he grew up in Germany or some shit like that. <laughs> He's a Detroit Pistons fan. Uh, damn, I got oh, you. Like, I couldn't think of one without uh, uh, y'all uh, figuring it out. I ain't gonna lie, Martin. That's my. Hey, that's yeah. one of the part of the whole reason I'm in radio because Martin. 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 Damn, Martin, I hate Martin, I ain't get that. Yeah. Oh yeah. He which I didn't know after doing my research that he was in the boxing like that, which makes sense oh, wow. why they put it on the show. Sure did, right? Yeah. I can't see that. You can't see Martin boxing. <laughs> All right, so this next one is a person. Yeah, on the show. Um, I'm a pro athlete, wellness advocate, TV host, and a chef. I began my pro boxing career in 1999, and I never took an L over the course of my nine-year career. Never. And I'm related to one of the most known and famous athletes in the world. Who the most famous athlete in the world? Mm. Nah, I know Muhammad Ali got his ass whooped a couple times. <laughs> I better yeah. say <laughs> You would say what you <laughs> say it just to see. He at the end of the three, so then you have two left. Muhammad Ali? Not Muhammad no, Ali. Say somebody. Ken, too. He Mayweather is the really who I would go say because he's like, like, undefeated. Not Mayweather. Damn, fool. I need to. Well, say this, one is, again. this is a undefeated. woman. A woman? Layla Ali. He didn't say Layla. He did just now. Layla. Oh, <laughs> Layla no. Ali. He didn't hit his button, though. I did. That was. When I That's hit the why when you say Muhammad Ali, I'm like, I'm thinking you're gonna say it. Why did you not say Layla? That's why I, I said he's not kin to her. Oh, you suck. What you mean not kin? I feel like yeah. I got that right. No, Don't worry about it. I got it right. He said Muhammad. Yeah, he said he was kin to him. No, you say Layla. Related. Uh uh-uh. uh. He you got shit to do with boxing. I ain't got nothing right, bro. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> think off the top of my head. These That's hard. sick, bro. These are hard, bro. But he said it was a woman. That's the only woman I know in boxing. That's why. That was. That's why I said Layla. Who made these? Doug made these. Yeah. That boy tapped into his inner Miss Frizzle when he was putting these hoes on her. Bill now the dub guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me put this on the radio and see how we do it. <laughs> put the city to the test. That'd be dope. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so the next one is super person. We got two more. Okay. Oh, uh, bro, you got, got to get you on the board. Dude, you got to get on the board. You got to get on the board. <laughs> Just start throwing names out there. It's cool. It's funny. All right. This is, the next person is a person as well. I'm an actor, rapper, entrepreneur. I have my own radio show and a record label. And I have a degree in criminology from Howard University. Ooh. Actor rapper got his own radio show. He currently on the radio got right now. Got a career. Currently, yeah. Criminology. Who got radio? Is it Sean Porter? No, no. There's an act. There's a an actor slash TV host as well. I threw rapper in there because he technically is a rapper. <laughs> Switch beats. Mm-hmm. You see him on TV all the time. No, I don't. You do. He black. <laughs> mm-hmm. He black. So okay. <laughs> if I give y'all this one he was clue, a well-known we, give, give us the well clue. Known. Give us the clue. Whoever hit their buzzer first, get it. <laughs> he got a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's just hitting it just to hit, hit the button. <laughs> Don't even know I thought you were going to say it. He got a lot of kids. A lot of kids? A lot of kids. Damn. Nick Cannon. Yeah. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that's a good one. That's all. Hey, shout out. I say, just throw it out there. Just yeah. throw it out there. Hey, you just throw it out there. Bro, that's what it was. That's what it was, bro. My that next was going to be kids, like, baby, somebody, somebody famous, one of them kids. I like that. Oh, God. I like Boosie. I don't know what I think of Boosie. <laughs> all right, so all y'all even. So oh, this, right, is, this is a, a top breaker. Oh, shit. So Ooh, this, is a, this is a thing. Not a person, not a place, but a thing. Boozy, I already know where you your mind finna go. <laughs> I come in different sizes, shapes, and colors. <laughs> I can, you can carry me or wear me, and I'm used every day and can be found in an office, a mall, or on the street. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't make I was waiting. I was waiting on you to throw out that Size random one. Uh-uh. <laughs> sizes, Size, shapes, and, and colors. And you can wear it. You can wear it, you can carry, and you can find them. On the office or in an office, I'm sorry, in a mall or on the street. This shit's so crazy. Phone. Phone. House phones. No, no. What? Nobody hey, phones. Phone like no phones, phones. Who wearing a phone, boo? <laughs> <laughs> you can't wear a phone. My daddy wear his phone. Yeah, no. My daddy wear his phone on his hip. <laughs> All right. How about a backpack? That's what it is. That's oh what it is. Oh my oh soul. So you God. better stop playing with me. Yeah, I know I get compared to you. He's our winner. Y'all better get, come you on, boo. You should have said, where my keys at? 
Yeah. <laughs> no. Not where my keys is. I said you can carry it or wear it. What would have been? The, what would have? That what I thought at first. <laughs> when you come a different size. I like, this a freaky shit. <laughs> Boosie <laughs> always <laughs> take it there. That's why I was like, I'm scared of what Boosie gonna throw out there. Like, oh, that's why I pointed. I was gonna. I was gonna let her say it. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's what I was like, y'all just say it. They but y'all always know, only back, about some shit. Small I'm out. backpack. I was gonna let her say it. And they all in different colors. You should have said Dora. Backpack. For you. I thought this whole about to turn into Can I Freak? Trey, you got it. But, Bri, of course, you ain't going to go home empty-handed. We appreciate you pulling up. So, I got you a little token of appreciate oh, you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Shout out, Shout out, Shout out, Chill. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you. Ooh, it's my favorite red. color, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dripping on them. Yeah. Got it's my favorite color, 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 She bro. covered, covered in it. Covered in it. Yes, Lord. You, so. With with all that, do you have anything else you want to let the people know? Where can they find you? Any fights coming up? Where to watch you? YouTubes? Uh, all that. I got a fight coming up August 30th at Knockout Live, 1520 Nolan Expressway. The tickets aren't out yet, but they will be soon, and I'll we be posting them. Yeah, let us know. We know. Yeah, yeah, we know. You can be sick of us. We'll pull up. For sure. Up. Yeah, I'll be posting it on my Instagram, which is Hill Fame Bree. Okay. And uh, it's two eyes. So that'll be an announcement that I'll make soon within like yeah. the next two weeks yeah. coming up. You so y'all the first opponent. to hear it. We got, you already got the first opponent. They're too. lining it up. Okay, yeah. Bet, so bet. we're just waiting yeah. on that. And then, okay. So y'all the first to hear it. Do yeah. you go yeah. look yeah. at your opponents to see what they do too? Like, do y'all watch film type? Yeah, we do. Like my coach does that for me, and then he gives me a game plan, and okay. then we go off for that. Yeah, so. yeah, I'm that's excited. What's up. I ain't never been so excited. So again, so make sure y'all follow. Hood Fambry yes. with two eyes. Two eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, two and make sure y'all follow us on Instagram at underscore can I vent. Right. Make sure y'all follow us on YouTube, can I vent podcast. Gotta follow G too. He big in the city. I ain't true. Make sure no, on, this, on, this, on this with far him. side down here, our favorite <laughs> Dallas Cowboys yes, Lord, cousin, say that. Say that. the Spit. prince of the city. <laughs> Come on Trey now. G, you can find him at. Yeah, you can follow me right now. Uh, Aye underscore Trey G. That's on probably like all platforms. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, Black People Meet. Um, that's <laughs> Black People M E A T. Meet. Yeah, we got, got good, that one. good chicken thighs. You <laughs> <laughs> got some good chicken thighs on that motherfucker. Oh. Uh, you can follow me all over the place, man. Or just keep up with me on the big station. K one hundred four one hundred four one hundred four point five. Tune in every single morning, DD in the morning. Shout out to them folks. Yeah. Sure. Yes, so, That's yeah. what's up. So we appreciate everybody for being here. We appreciate you for uh, appreciate y'all having filling me. in. And we out. See y'all next week. Y'all.